This is the EV3 touch sensor. It has two states. It, it, it has pressed in and released. And that's the whole thing. Here's what it might look like installed on the front of your robot. And you could easily install it on the back right here to check when you've bumped into a wall. Uh, but we'll just leave it right there for now. And then the other thing I need to show you is uh, when you pull a touch sensor block from your code, it's automatically going to reference port 1 here on the back. You can change that to any number you want to, but it's easier just to leave it the way it is. So, an example of when you might use this is, let's say you have a steering block that's going forward for one rotation. Uh, if you're not sure that one rotation is what you need and you'd rather just wait until it bumps into something, you can change it from on for rotations to simply on. So in this state it would just drive forward forever. And I'm going to slow it down so it doesn't run off the table in this example. Uh, but then you can say over here in the uh, orange section, you can say wait. And instead of waiting one second, we're going to wait until the touch sensor is pressed in. Now in this menu you have uh, zero is released, one is pressed, and two is pressed and released or won't. And we're going to do one. So right now what we have is turn both motors on, driving forward slowly, waiting for the touch sensor, and then we need to tell it what to do after it encounters that press. And so we'll grab another steering block, and this time after it's pressed we're going to turn it off. So I am not connected by Bluetooth. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm finally connected by Bluetooth, so I should just be able to hit play. And what I'm going to do is stick my finger right here, and hopefully when it bumps into this finger, it will stop. All right, that's a pretty good test. Now, another thing you can do is let's get rid of this one. And so in this case, we're doing nothing until it gets touched and then afterwards we're going to go for a rotation for example I'll scoot him back again I need you to be able to see the lights on the panel all right uh, let's hit run again now you can see right here this this block is blinking so the the program is active and this is where we're stuck at we're waiting for a press if you look on the robot right here, you can see that it's blinking as well. So our program is in motion right now, but nothing's happening. So when I press, I guess I should scoot this down so you can see. When I press, he should take off. And that's the touch sensor.